So I've actually not been drinking for over a year now, probably longer. And I thought I'd make this video just to explain why, because I think a lot of people are under some misapprehension about drinking alcohol and they maybe don't fully understand it or, you know, there's been a lot of people that don't understand why people would give up drinking, as in like, I don't need, I don't drink any alcohol um, at all at any time of the year, you know, New Year's Eve, Christmas, birthdays, parties, going out, anything like that. I don't drink any alcohol whatsoever. And the reason for this, well, there's actually there's actually lots of reasons. There's several different reasons which are all coming into play here. You're probably thinking, right, okay, young guy, why don't why wouldn't you drink? Like almost everyone drinks, you know, young and old, but especially young people uh, in today's society, especially in England and, and America, almost everyone drinks, right? It's just a societal norm. And I think that is one of the things we really need to question is why do we have a society and a culture which is based, at least in some aspects, around alcohol? For, for some people and for a lot of people I've spoken to, it seems weird to imagine going out with their friends and just talking or going out with their friends and just going for a walk in the middle of the day. That seems like an insane idea. That seems like a ridiculous thing to suggest because they think, okay, well, why wouldn't we just meet in the evening at the pub, you know, and, and have a drink? And that thinking, that line of thinking, just seems absolutely alien to me. The idea that people would rather sort of go out in the evening when it's dark and drink alcohol and sort of lower their inhibitions and feel, admittedly feel good short term, but then worse long term, which I'll get onto in a minute. The idea that people would choose that over spending sober time in the daytime when when the sun's out right you know when humans are designed to be up and about and doing things that just seems insane to me i always feel like i would much rather be doing doing anything be doing anything with with my friends in the daytime and alcohol just doesn't need to come into it at all like when you think about it it's uh, not good for you okay so i don't really know where to start with breaking this down but i guess the first the first reason i gave up or you know the first reason that a lot of people are not drinking anymore is because it's not good for you. Like in, in terms of health and nutrition and, and what you're actually putting into your body, everyone knows it's not good for you. It doesn't add to your health. And so if it's not adding to your health, it's in some way subtracting from your health. You know, it's very, very hard to find something that's completely neutral. Even water, which doesn't have much nutritional value, is very beneficial to you. Although it's considered like a neutral thing to ingest, it's very beneficial. So alcohol, if it's not adding to your health, is by definition taking away from your health. Meaning it's gonna have the it's gonna have the simple carbohydrates, it's gonna add to your body fat, it's gonna do all sorts of horrible things to your body long term. Hence the term beer gut or you know beer belly. We know this, right? We know that it's not healthy. So that's that's not a very compelling reason. I mean we tend to do things that aren't good for us some of the time. You know, like you know society in general people smoke people drink i mean I, I don't do any of these things myself but people as people as a majority do do these things right <clears throat> so it's not really that that caused me to give up alcohol although that was a factor it was more the idea of this social crutch the idea of using alcohol as like a a leaning post for social interactions and having events and ideas and and gatherings centered around drinking alcohol that I just woke up one morning and thought, hang on, this is absolutely insane. Why why would we need to do that? Is it that we're not confident enough to go and socialise without alcohol? Is it that we're not used to it? Or is it just that we have developed this whole culture around drinking alcohol every weekend that the idea of anything other than that seems alien to most people? I mean, here's how, here's how an average person's life will play out. They'll get a job, okay? They'll work nine to five Monday to Friday, and then on the weekend, on Friday and Saturday nights, they'll they'll revel in the idea of enjoying their lives just for those two days. They might hate their job in the week, right? But if they can just make it to Friday, there's a whole industry and a whole marketing campaign around this. TGIF, thank, thank goodness it's Friday. If they can just make it to Friday, they can go out and get smashed and drink alcohol with their friends and everything seems sort of okay again until Monday morning. And the whole cycle repeats itself. But when you really think about that, you know, you're trading, and I'm not going to get into the uh, the debate of whether you should have a job and the whole working for yourself versus career path. I'm not going to get into that debate in this video because that's a long topic. But that's what usually happens, you know, people work Monday to Friday, 
and then they drink Friday and Saturday to take their mind off the fact that they're working Monday to Friday. <laughs> Most people have the skills or could develop the skills to work for themselves in a fairly short period of time. Anyway, that's another topic. So there's the idea that it's not healthy for you. It's used culturally as a social crutch where events are based around drinking as opposed to meaningful interactions. I, I've seen and overheard so many conversations you know, from people my age where they really are excited. They're genuinely excited and thrilled at the idea of just waiting till Friday night and then getting as drunk as they possibly can in the shortest period of time possible and then going to a certain club and it's they're genuinely excited about it and it's it's kind of sad to see and overhear really that the, that people would be so excited about just the concept of getting drunk at the weekend and then what i mean you're going to wake up and on sunday morning hungover you're going to feel bad for a few days afterwards and you're going to go back to your job on monday and just be waiting for friday again and it's like you're not really living on any of the days although it might feel like it on friday night you know when you're dancing around and, and drunk or whatever but are you really having any meaningful interactions and this is the question i had to ask myself like what was the, what is the point of drinking if the end result is worse health lower confidence and sort of living for the weekend and having this alcohol as a central theme so then that begs the question okay well what about drinking in moderation why don't you just have one or two or you know why don't you just be a social drinker, just drink every now and then when you go out, right? It's a social thing, it's what we do, it's what, it's what people do, right? While that does make sense on one level, it doesn't make sense on an even bigger level. And I think the idea of doing something just because everyone else is doing it is fundamentally wrong anyway. So that's not really a convincing factor for me when people say, oh, just have a couple of drinks, you know, everyone does it. That's not a convincing factor for me at all because the majority aren't always right. So I like to make my own mind up with pretty much anything, any decision in my life. I like to make my own mind up as opposed to following what people think is or, you know, believe is the right way. But why, why not drink in moderation, right? Why not have one drink or even two drinks when you go out? The reason I don't is because there's just no need. Like, unless you enjoy the taste, unless you genuinely really, really like the taste of the alcoholic drink that, you're, that you drink, okay, like a cocktail, for example, then fine. I, I get that, like if you enjoy the taste, that's fine, have one or two drinks. But for me, I just genuinely didn't enjoy the taste. And even if I did, right, even if I did enjoy the taste of a particular alcoholic drink, I know that it's not good for me. So there's always a reason not to drink. Even if it's just one or two, there's, I'd always much rather not drink it because, because I know that it's subtracting from my health even a tiny bit. It's the reason I don't drink fizzy drinks, because of the sugar. When I consider the fact that I, I feel more confident without drinking, right, I feel better health-wise and, you know, mentally and emotionally, I feel better and more stable without drinking. There's absolutely no need for me to drink even one drink. And I know that sounds a bit crazy to most people. Like, you know, I've had conversations with people where they just don't seem to understand why I wouldn't even just have one or two. But for me, I just absolutely don't need it. It's like, it feels to me the same as if you asked somebody why don't you just come to a gardening exhibition if they had no interest in gardening just come to one or two days you know most people go there and it's like well no if then if they're not interested in gardening why would they consider coming to a gardening exhibition you know especially if they've already tried gardening before and they know they don't like it it's the same thing for me you know i don't it's not like I haven't tried alcohol, I've indulged in alcohol, you know, over the years and especially when I was younger I used to drink a lot. And it didn't add anything to me. It didn't really, I mean, yeah, it was fun in the moment and, you know, you have a laugh and you sort of, it's funny sometimes to wake up and sort of discuss, you know, you never guess what you did last night or, you know, where did we end up and that sort of thing. What did we say? But the more you, the more you evolve in terms of your consciousness, the more you start to realise that that's not really an intelligent use of your time. I mean, like, it should be obvious, right? It should be obvious. But I think that the whole getting drunk thing is just not for me. And it's not for a, a huge amount of people, and a growing number of people, actually, uh, who just don't see the point in, in drinking alcohol. Now, now, don't get this confused with, with the other side of this, which I completely get, where... I completely get the whole uh, social aspect of it where you're just casually sitting around with some friends and you're having like one or two drinks that's fine like that's that's friendly that's a nice atmosphere and if the goal isn't just to get drunk then it becomes 
better than if you were just going out to get drunk. But again, for, for me, that's a personal choice and I respect those who decide to do that, but I just personally don't have any need to or desire to uh, partake in that. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to just sit around and be there without drinking. If it's a genuine, if it's a meaningful interaction, right, if the people are genuinely good people and it's a meaningful interaction and the goal isn't just to get hammered as quickly as possible, then no one will care if you don't drink. They just won't care. Like, you, you can be there and add to the conversation without having to drink alcohol. And if you can't, and if people don't allow you to be there without drinking, then that particular event obviously must be centred around getting smashed, in which case I wouldn't want to be there anyway. So it's sort of a win-win for everyone, really. Like, I would, I would go to a social event only if it was okay for me to not drink, because that would indicate that the people aren't there just to get smashed, they're actually there for a social, meaningful interaction, in which case I would want to be there. Whereas if I went somewhere and it was weird to everyone that I wasn't drinking, because they were all trying to get drunk as quickly as possible, then it's obvious that I shouldn't be there. It's just not my scene, right? And that's just a personal choice. So I'm not gonna get into the science of exactly why alcohol is bad. Obviously there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of sugars and fats in alcohol, especially beer. And obviously there's the dangers associated with lowering your inhibitions and huge numbers of people are admitted to hospital every week or every day even just from being drunk and tripping over and doing stupid things. So that, that goes without saying, like it's, it's obvious that the more you drink, the more at risk you are of injuring yourself or others or, or saying something stupid or doing something you'll regret. That's obvious, like that's a very well known factor. So I'm not gonna talk about that, that's, you know, everyone knows that. But that is, that is it guys, that is the combination of reasons as to why I don't drink alcohol. I am a fairly logical person most of the time and I like to think that I've thought about this very carefully. And I have to say that after a year or so I feel great, like I feel, very, I feel really good, especially compared to how I used to feel when I, would, when I would go out two or three times a week and, you know, and get drunk and everything like this. And, and then just wake up and I always felt groggy the next few days and I was never able to function to the best of my ability and it definitely held me back in terms of what I could have achieved if I was sober but from a young age. That's it guys, I would love to know your opinion and please don't take this as me sort of bashing on anyone who drinks alcohol, I completely understand any and respect anyone who drinks alcohol, it's not like it's, not like it's a terrible thing, it's just like for me it's a personal choice that I don't think I would like to, to, to drink alcohol, that's just my personal choice but I respect anyone who does and I'd love to know your opinions on this. I think one of the most popular comments that I'm going to get is something like, uh, it's fine in moderation, everything's fine in moderation. And I agree, you know, moderation is certainly better than indulgence in this case, but absolute sobriety, in my opinion, is still better than moderation in this situation. So, leave a comment, see you tomorrow.